Welcome to Land and Sea DIY. My name is Greg, and in this episode, we will finish up our yard drainage project. Let us know in the comments below if you like what you're seeing, if you would have done anything differently. And please like and subscribe, help us out with the channel. All right, let's get to work. I completed digging the trench and then started assembling the sections of PVC pipe, gluing them together. I then filled in the trench with 57 stone covering the PVC pipe. I ran out of 57 stone toward the end of the project and instead of going to buy some more I went ahead and grabbed some paper base that we had in the backyard that we use at the chicken coop and I went ahead and filled the rest of the trench in with the paper base, just a smaller stone.
Once the stone was in, I covered it with soil. I rented a small rototiller at Home Depot. And the reason I got the rototiller was just to loosen up the soil because I wanted to create more of a swale than what the yard had initially and wanted better natural drainage. Yes, I'm relying on the sump pump, but I also wanted better natural drainage as well. So uh, the rototiller worked out really well to loosen up the soil and uh, any soil that I remove from the swale, I just haul to another area in the yard where I needed it.
Once I removed the soil that I wanted to, I went ahead and shaped the swale with the tamper just to get the profile that I wanted. Finally gave it a light raking and put the rest of the sod down. You're looking good. You're looking real good. All right, so just want to show you a finished product of our drainage system that we installed about four months ago. Uh, the grass has grown in around it well. Um, no more standing water. We haven't had it since we installed this system. And uh, you can see, you, you can't tell that there's the permeable, permeable pavers underneath this grass here. It just looks like normal grass, but it withstands cars rolling over it and the occasional trailer and boat, boat trailer and so forth. So it uh, works real good. So just want to walk down to the other end. So this is where the sump 
the sump pump is installed in that basin right there. And if you recall, the pipe that we installed runs down the swale. In the swale, we've got a trench dug with gravel and the pipe. And the water exits at this basin here. So the pump pumps the water through the inch and a half pipe over to this basement at the other side of the yard. Water comes up, runs over the driveway, and naturally makes its way down to this drainage basin down here, which is the stormwater structure for the street. So that sump pump just helps the water get over to the other side of the yard. And uh, it's been real successful. We haven't had any standing water, so it's been working real well. So where the sump pump is, you've got water that runs across the driveway to that basin. And if you recall, this was a muddy mess as well. We installed the permeable pavers in this area as well with gravel. And again, solved our problem so no more standing water no no more mud and uh, withstands traffic going over it so overall it's been really successful